Hello. Oh. oh, there we go. Welcome back to my three, well, from the continuation from last night of Tales of Arise. I feel like playing this right now. And stream once today. So. I need to check out. Oh. I'm going to crank these up to the max. All right. So I'm just going to talk to her. Wait in the room. Let's see what happens. These must be the Danons the Dark Wings freed. Yeah. The city might be in ruins. The people have risen from the ashes. Yeah, because I looked at the VOD part of the video from last night and it was way too quiet. Well. Oh, look, we get a cutscene. It. Yes. It's Lord Almadria Kynaris. Please stop. No good can come of such hatred. Stop or there'll be no turning back. <laughs> Manipulated bitch. Is this supposed to be justice? Thing is, she feeds off to the she feeds off of the hatred. Astral energy? Why now? The fruit of Helgen. The fruit of Helgen. They're good as dead. Crazy look. to exist <laughs> it was all part of her plan to get captured And she powered up. <laughs> oh, my God.
I did warn you, did I not? Nothing good can ever come of such nasty hate. <laughs> That's a lot of astral energy. The one that killed her parents. all of you out of existence back then i guess there was one survivor after all mm. hey rinwell shut up this is the only thing that's keeping me going anymore stay out of my way or i'll kill you rinwell i'll kill you i swear it i will kill you She would have blocked it. What did you? Why are you defending her? He's trying to protect you. I'm not really sure, you know. But when I look into your eyes, I can't let you do it. What about you? Are you not the one who got revenge for his father? Don't I deserve that as much as you? Move aside. If you don't, then I'll blast you again. Even so, sorry. I'm afraid that I can't let you do that. Itchy eyeball. Uh, no. I can't let you kill her. Not while your face is full of the same hatred as those people who died. You saw what she did. What are you saying? She should just get away with it all? You're right. And well, I don't know what I'm doing. But still, I know it's wrong. If you go through with this, I know you'll regret it. I'm sorry. I am. Give me. I can't believe you. You of all people. Of all the people. Your little show quite finished. Are you? For many years of my life, I devoted myself to the study of astral arts. But the knowledge I took from your family was truly enlightening indeed. For that, you deserve a reward. I shall allow you to taste one of the fruits of my labor. Oh boy, here we go. T Rex looking, holy crap. Sorry, sorry, Chuck. All right. Great move. Sorry for almost blowing me up. Hey, not like it's the first time. 
Come on. We need to take her down. Okay. All right, time for a nice. Oh no! Eric right, dodged it. And at least our map started this out with full health, so. Why am I missing? God damn it. Alright. Okay, we got a core break. God damn it, I got pushed back. Okay. Let's use the grape gel. There we go. All right. Dodging. This is a good battle. Crap. I was a little too high up. Oh, you pissed Kassara off. Why did I get pushed back? I'm pretty sure I have to go back to the forest to the, um, face her. Crap. Use a peach shell. Get a boost break. Ah, you suck. She has an angry now. Okay. 
Good combo right there. Oop. Got pushed back. Alright, there we go. Is everyone all right? Yeah. Val Madre got away. Rinwell, are you... What... What the hell happened here? Bayfon, is that you? Thank goodness you're okay. I've been outside this city this whole time. But I sensed a disturbance in the wind and decided to turn back. What happened here? Where is everybody? Al Madria's handiwork. She allowed herself to be captured so she could rile up the Danans into a frenzy and rob them of their astral energy. She wiped out almost everyone in the plaza, including Deadheim. Deadheim's dead. Everyone. And the Darkwings. Almost all of our companions in the Resistance. How could this happen? Regardless of what she had to gain, what kind of person would do something like that? If she managed to find kinship in Kelzalik, then I'd say the very worst kind. It's clear now that she used Men and Sia as a testing ground for the fruits of Helgen, before using them here. So everything that led up to this moment was all a part of her plan. Once she knew they'd eaten enough tainted food, she just needed to get herself caught. We have to go after her. Balseth and Ganabel were horrible. Almadria makes them look like saints. I doubt she's really gone back into hiding. We have to put an end to this once and for all. Yeah. You're here. She's done can't be forgiven. I I don't know what to do. I saw what hatred did to those people, but hating her is the only thing that's kept me going. I can't just stop hating her. What am I supposed to do? Tell me. Smile at her from across the battlefield? Apologize while we fight her? I don't know if I can do that. Rinwell. Nobody can understand what you've been through. We can't even begin to imagine the pain you've experienced. But if hate is what has kept you going ever since that day, then let it be your strength. However, think about this. When you've had your revenge, when we've beaten Almadria, then what will you do? Huh? I'm saying you're going to have to find a way to survive once that hatred is gone. When it is, what do you plan on doing then? I don't... I don't know. I've never thought about it before. Almadria's death doesn't have to be your end, too. You need a reason to live, Rinwell, not an excuse to die. Understand? She's caring. She's right. We could never truly know the pain. But I think you should listen to Shion. Oops, I did not mean to skip that. And if it's too much right now, it's okay for you to sit this one out. No. My head might be a mess right now, but I'm not letting you fight Almadria without me. I need to be there. Please. That much I do know. I'm going with you. And on the road, I'll I'll think about it. A reason to live without hate. That said, it'll be no good chasing after her blind with no idea where she went. Bayfon, do you have any ideas where she might have gone? I can't say for sure, but west of here is an underground harbor along a cliff near the coast. She oh, spent years building a ship there, a floating fortress that she built right. her castle on the sea. No one quite knew why she wanted the thing, but now, of course, she's already effectively destroyed her own capital. It's likely she planned to abandon her realm as well. Right, that's as good a lead as any. Let's go.
intervener, huh? Right. Check on everything. Still got some work to do, right? All right. What's that woman going to do next? To the west of here, huh? Right. So we gotta go to the plaza, right? Nothing good, I'll bet. We'll start. Right, no. so. I still can't believe what that Almadria did. Not only that, but she was enjoying it. It's patently clear she has no respect for human life whatsoever. We need to take her out. I don't think I've ever felt so enraged at another person in my whole life. Yeah, there's no way she's getting away with this. Then we head for the underground docks. We need to hurry. Rinwell, can you keep moving? Y yeah. My family and I, we spent all of our days just living in hiding until, until one day when we were found and attacked. I was the only one my dad and the others hid. That's the reason I survived while the rest of my family was butchered. The only thing that I could see was the crest of a lord glowing through the smoke. And then... And then... It was Almadria who did it. Oh. I'm sorry, Rinwell. That woman... Did she really find the existence of Dan and Mages to be that much of a threat? Enough to invade another lord's territory? No, I doubt that. Most likely, she was after their knowledge and techniques. She only did it so she could become stronger. That's the kind of woman she is. In retrospect, I do remember her making it sound like she created that monster she summoned. A monster? I wonder, do you all think of me as a monster? Because I'm able to use magic even though I'm Danon? Rinwell, of course we don't think you're a monster, you dummy. Huh? I might have had to hold you back, but it's her fault any of this ever happened, not yours. Got it? Oh. All right, back. Actually, shows her. It says we gotta. Well, uh. Head for the hidden underground dock west of Nias, which is. I think that. West will be right there. Going just inside the inn real quick. Big and flame sec for that. Oh, nice. It's like a
Okay. So I'm gonna equip that. Gonna have to wait a little while longer for that. Alright. Have you guys checked your equipment lately? Yeah, uh, we gotta rest anyway, so. No, I'm not gonna cook. I'm not gonna cook before resting. All right, so it's put the saver now. It says we're gonna go west of here. Actually, west. That was wrong. West. Gonna be where. So we gotta fast travel here. Then, that's right. Oh, wow, I was thinking it's east. So I think we gotta go to. Yeah, we gotta go to. Right around to the uh, Dawn Bruins. Crap. Yeah, those points. Sorry, Chuck. Nice. Well, that's pretty much straight ahead, so. Actually, I could just fast travel right here. Buddy, okay? We're all right, Alfin. I must well grab the rice. There we go. Wow, talk about chasing after a freaking lord. I'll do my best. There we go. There we go. Uh. Everybody okay? We're all right, Alfin. So we gotta go this way. Actually, I wanna collect this real quick. Excuse me. Ooh. I gotta go this way. But mouse, sorry guys. Oh, hang on. There we go. The trees if you know what's good for you. This one's mine. You're mine. It's a duel of the arts. Make it rain. Darling. There we go. Volcanic impact. All right. Our work is done here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. All right. Uh, well, like, there is a fast travel point right here. We should be able to cook here. No, I don't want to cook. I don't want to. See something. I need a dragon flame sec. Yeah. That's only for my 
Ooh, we got new. Got enough gold, so I could just. There we go. You can never. There we go. Optimize equipment. too prepared but did we have to yes to yes so much we do have to spend all that money and plus you kidding more than enough money all right here we go all right going out the do this real quick. A dead end. And no, there's an elevator. Looks operational. Into wharf. Mm -hmm. All right. I can't believe there's actually an underground harbor here. There are even boats docked. Leave wet fish. Think they were forced to work here? Probably. Let's see what they have to share about Almadria. Oh, we got a fast travel. Heavy treat. So only your spot. We got mackerel. Where we gotta go to to talk to the guy that runs the ship. Nothing here. A cupcake? Oh, they're talking about the Lord. All right. Well. I like, um, ready, so. You didn't happen to see a lord come by, did you? Sorry, friend, but she just left. Came by with a whole posse of underlings, boarded her ship, and took off at first wind. We damn near got blown away. She was that much in a hurry. Damn, so we missed her. You guys trying to go after her? Need a ride? Are you saying you know how to steer a ship? Spent most of my life chained to the deck of some ship or other. Yeah, I know my jib from my boom. We don't know how dangerous it'll be. Better you give us the boat and stay on solid ground. Whoa there. You been out on the water before? The sea ain't nobody's friend, you know. You need a sea dog like me or you'll sink her before she makes it out the harbor. We're losing time. Sir, we're in your debt. Now that's more like it. Name's Mahavar. Just give me a holler when you're all set, and we'll set sail. So it's pretty much... Do as much... Get as much of the stuff that... So I want to fast travel here real quick. Because I want to go to the library and see if... I got any, you know, if, you know, books that... I think the library is in... Yeah, it's the first floor. Uh, 
All right, so the library is going to be right there. All right. Doggies sure love chewing on their bone. Please tell me they're. Yeah. Oh, nice. Watch it. Hey. Hmm. A magic emblem. Um. Anything else? <laughs> oh, this one do. All right, so. I think the recommended level for that is 45. Destination. So. Oh, that's some massive slowdown. It's a game slowdown. Victory nonetheless. We have a long way yet to go. You can tell it's tough just looking at it. Yeah. It Yeah, because if I remember right, it's uh gonna use both of these level five ups. Probably mess us up good. Oh level forty three, my bad. So I want to do this right now. Guy who sure hits hard. I'm three levels above it. Healing circle on me. Yeah, now this is a fight. I forgot how to do it. Oh my god. Now this is a fight. Oh my god. Uh, let's go for another healing circle. Crap. Oh, 
There we go. Use a heavy treat. Oh, Kisara's piss. Got to use healing circle again. Fuck. Fuck. Use a peach shell. How the hell? Using the brave one. Got to buy a lot more jails. Ow, ow, you suck. Charles down. Son of a bitch. All 
right. This is the most difficult battle I've ever in. There we go, finally. Together, there is nothing that can stop us. Indeed, as one we are unrivaled. And that is our greatest strength. That took a lot out of me, holy hell. way to the boat here in one piece barely god you're still you're taking forever mm -hmm. ah. anyway Yeah, yeah, you don't have to give me the warning about. Go here. Yeah. What? Right. <laughs> uh, afraid not. Right. Yeah. Alrighty then. That's cool. good, good, good. Now let's go to panel. Oops. The wall. Okay. Sarah has Dolly. Oh, How's she on? Yep. Go to the is Yeah, go to the end. Rest up. After that hard fought battle, you need a rest. Looks like we made it here in one piece. Right, so yeah. Uh Love of curry, right? This flavor, why it rivals the cooking of my own chefs in the palace. All right now, everyone's all healed up. I need a need to open up Steam Store real quick.
Yeah, I got everything. All right. Yeah, back to the hidden wharf. Looks like we made it here in one piece. All right. Set sail. This is like a dream come true. Never gotten a captain a ship before. Never would have thought I'd get a chance like this. Thank you, y'all. The pleasure's all ours. Think we'll catch up to her? Of course we will. They got too much weight on them. Meanwhile, this ship's carrying nothing but us salty scalawags. They got a good head start on us, but we can take them. Do you know if there are any damons on that ship? Couldn't say for sure. On the one hand, seeing as it's supposed to be something of another castle, I'd reckon they probably wouldn't let a bunch of Danons on board. On the other hand, I'd be real surprised if the Renans were able to pilot that thing all by themselves. In any case, it's oh. gonna be a while before we reach her. Till then, you're all free to do whatever. Just don't fall in the ocean. I'm pretty sure we know how to do Your panel. Oh crap, I should have bought. Oh well. You live, you learn. Yellow. I took a look around inside the ship just in case, but I didn't find anything that looked like it might be suspicious. Thanks. I appreciate it. You know, it wasn't until I left Calaglia that I finally realized just how big the world is. When we tore down the wall in Calaglia, and I could finally see the horizon in the far off distance, I had the exact same thought. Yep. <sighs> Somehow the sea is different, though. I'm not sure just how to put it. It's almost as if it just goes on forever. I bet my old man would have been blown away by this view. He would have. Yeah. Ever since he died, I've been thinking about what it was that he was really trying to say to me at the end. I keep going over his words again and again. And heck, maybe I'm just overthinking it all. But still, sometimes I wonder if it could have turned out differently. If there was something I could have done. But no matter how I play it back... I'm still no closer to finding any answers. And then there's everything with Rinwell. I stopped her from killing Almadria. Was that really the right thing to do? Or did I just end up making things harder for her? I feel like such a screw up. You did what you felt like. I keep asking myself what Zephyr would have done had he been here. Like I think, how would Zephyr have handled Rinwell? Yeah, I think he definitely would have stopped her. No doubt about it. And that's exactly what you did, Law. I think he'd be really proud of you. Alfin. Don't go into a black race. To measure ourselves against. Right. Let's both do our best to make him proud. Sounds like a deal. Thanks, Alfin. Uh, woo! Hold that pose long enough and someone might just come along and paint you. Any artist who'd see fit to paint me needs their eyes tested. What can you tell me about Almadria? Not as much as you'd probably wish. I only ended up crossing paths with her a handful of times, after I was chosen to be a lord on Lenigus. Ah, right. I almost forgot about Lenigus. How much do you think they know about what's been going on down here? 
It's safe to assume they know everything, though I know not why they choose to remain uninvolved. Perhaps they see what's been happening as just part of the ongoing crown contest. Even what Almadria did? Has it really reached the point where her actions are seen as normal? Not to my knowledge, no. At its core, the crown contest is a competition to see who can amass the most astral energy. And to amass such energy, slaves are needed to collect it from. It's therefore against the Lord's interest to kill them. So then why would Almadria do something like that? We must remember that time is running out in the crown contest. Perhaps her hand was forced, so to speak. It is a way to accrue astral energy faster and in larger quantities than through slave labor. Doing so kills off that labor force, obviously. But it is a means to an end, nonetheless. No one could have foreseen that something like the Hollowing would arise back when the contest was first conceived. Is becoming the Sovereign of Rena really that important to the Lords? Of course. It's the greatest prize one can attain in their eyes. In that respect, at least, I'm really not that surprised that Almadria resorted to what she did, as utterly despicable as it is. It's reassuring to hear you feel the same way I do. I worry that the only reason I never did anything similar in Menencia was due to my lack of ambition. If you didn't want to be reminded of your past, you could have just plugged your ears. You think too highly of me. I'm afraid I must respectfully disagree. I'm not nearly as virtuous of a person as you might wish to believe. If that's so, would you have been so shaken up when Kisara lost her brother? Why else would you turn your back on your own kind and choose to fight for Megal's dream? Aren't we just Danans? A curious choice of words. Did what you see in Mahog Sar hit you that hard? What Dead I'm did to that city? He didn't liberate anyone. Anyone who refused to follow him was an enemy in his eyes. Three hundred years of Renan rule taught him nothing. What I have come to understand is that the conflict extends beyond Danon versus Renan. There is an internal quarrel as well. I mean to bring about a true, lasting coexistence in Menon's Crap! But there are more walls we must topple first. And you don't think you can pull it off? Well... You seem to think you can, at least. Does that make us enemies? Insofar as an exchange of swordplay, no, it doesn't. Not good enough for you? Are you really... <sighs> Forgive me. I will continue to fight by your side a while longer. That much I have decided. Looks like Kassara's feeling a little uh, um, seasick. You don't look so good. Are you all right? The floor. It keeps moving. How can seasick. You stand it? How can you even stand? I'm not the best person to ask about discomfort. I can't feel pain, remember? I still can't believe what happened in Niez. Even now. As a lord, my expectations for Almadria were already pretty low. But the way she treated human lives like they're mere playthings. Yeah. And it wasn't the shame. situation in Niaz was improving much to begin with. You mean dead on. The whole reason I started fighting back was because of my anger at the atrocities of Renan rule. Back then, all I had to worry about was fighting the Renans for the sake of the Danans. But then I met Shion and the people of Menencia, and things became a lot more complicated. It's even messier now that we have to worry about Danans like Deadheim. It used to be that the Danans were the ones in the right, and the Renans were the ones in the wrong. Though, maybe that was just a biased perspective from being on the side of the oppressed. Exactly. I'll never tolerate the Renans ruling over us. But nothing ever ends up being as black and white as you'd expect it to be, either. Yeah. That's clear to me now. That said, even putting aside bad apples like Deadheim for a moment, you may be able to free the Danon people, but that won't undo 300 years of oppression. It'll be hard for them to not give in to their resentment. 
I think maybe that's why I clung to our dream so hard back in Menencia. Even if his motivations weren't pure, Dolalim has a good heart. He didn't sink to the depths Almadria did. You don't understand. I'm saying that it goes deeper than that. This hierarchy we live in, it's not solely something the Renans invented. I remember a story Rinwell once told me. She said before the Renans invaded, we Danans had our own class system. We are the ones who divided ourselves. I saw it in Deadheim's eyes. He wanted to rule over others. To hear Bayfon tell it, Deadheim wasn't always that way. But as time went on, and he and the Darkwings fought the Renans, he eventually changed. I guess what I'm getting at is, if we defeat the Renans but just go back to the way things were before, was there even any point in fighting? But that world isn't the one you want to create, right? Maybe not. But to tell you the truth, these days... Sorry guys, there's a lot of, um, these cutscene things. I promise to Megal, though. Your home and the people of Menencia are depending on you. So... I know. My brother. By the time I talk to everyone, I'm gonna call it for the stream. Even now, many people still do. And then, there's you. Here, here? Me? You and Xion. <clears throat> I'm not sure I follow. Okay, then let me spell it out for you. How many other Renans and Danans do you know that get on as spectacularly as the two of you? I don't know that I'd say spectacularly. Well, I suppose it's really all a matter of how you look at it, isn't it? I really don't see what you're getting. Idiot. Mm, I think I'm getting seasick again. Sorry. Can you just give me a wide berth for a few minutes? <laughs> All right. Next says Brynwell. Law is okay. If you're worried, why don't you ask him yourself? Yeah, I think maybe I should apologize to him too. I should apologize to all of you, really. Us too? Well, I was kind of lying to you all this whole time. I was blind to everything except my own revenge. I never even considered the struggles all of you might be facing. We all have things we'd prefer to keep to ourselves, Rinwell. So what if you had something to hide? It doesn't undo the good that you've done, or the people that you've helped save along the way. But that's not what I mean. I know. You're talking about Almadria, right? Yeah. Uh, I hate crap. her, Alfin. I can't stop hating her. Even just thinking about her makes my head feel like it's going to explode. But it's not just her. I think about the way Law looked at me. I hated the Lord who killed my parents. And I hated the Renans I had to travel alongside. And yet, Cislodius Danans backstab each other like it's a normal way of life. And Mahog Sar has people like Deadeim. But then there are people like Law and Xion. It's all just too much. I don't know what to think anymore. Law never said that you had to forgive Almadria. It's only natural you would hate your family's murderer. But... But what? Law left home because of how much he hated his father. As a result of that, well, I think Law spent a lot of time thinking about how they never got to make things right. <laughs> and if I had to guess, killing Ganabel didn't make any of those feelings go away. Law let revenge fuel him, and I think now he's afraid you'll do something you'll regret. Afraid? Whatever happens to Almadria when this is all over is up to you. I'll respect whatever choice you make. 
Just think it over carefully for me, okay? You still have time. Okay. Thanks, Alfin. <laughs> Say, um, back then, after the fight, I think I really made Xion mad. I don't know, though. Maybe it just looked that way. She's concerned about you, too. I guess... I just can't seem to understand how she feels. Do you know why she gets like that? Xion's... She can be a tough nut to crack. She doesn't really talk a whole lot about herself. It's just what she said about hate being a source of strength. Where did that come from? I wonder how it feels... ...not being able to hold another person's hand. Hmm. Alright, so... Sleep real quick. Now we got she on top too. Further, you'll go overboard. Well, she'll be keeping an eye out for all Madria's ship. I'm looking at the ocean. The ocean. It's beautiful. Yeah. The waves. They help me think. The ocean is beautiful. This world is filled with natural wonders. The icy air and white peaks of Cislodia, the lush green glades of Menencia, the harsh wastes of Calaglia. But Menencia has its lake of death, and Nias its ruins. And they wouldn't be there if it weren't for that contest. Say we actually manage to put a stop to the crown contest for good. What do you think will happen between the Danans and the Renans then? It's you first. Well, I... I want to believe that the coexistence we saw in Menencia can happen elsewhere, too. It's just... It's insane for all of us to keep fighting. If Menencia can do it, so can everyone else. Yeah, I think that would be good too. A world where everyone can get along. At least, that's what I've come to believe. You sure have changed. I can't lie to you. Since I was young, I've looked down on the Danans too. But I've seen a lot. And I see things differently now. I've seen so many ugly and terrible things in this world. And yet... They didn't come from just the Danans. And the good things, too. They didn't come from just the Renans. Kindness and cruelty exist on both sides. A person's race doesn't factor into it. So, I guess you're right after all, Alfin. I have changed. Actually touched another person like this. Shion. Ever since I was on Lenigus, I've always been alone. Even after I came to Dana. Always. And now? Do you still not remember your past? No. Sometimes it feels like I can almost remember. 
But then this mask stops me. The mask keeps you from remembering why you have the mask in the first place. It's a little ironic, isn't it? A little. <sighs> well, it won't be long now before you're rid of those thorns, you know? <sighs> Only two lords remain. And once you have their master course, you'll be able to create the Renaissance. Right? Then you can. Uh... I don't think she's. Sorry, it's nothing. Promise. You're right, though. It'll all be over soon. I never could have made it this far on my own. I have everyone to thank for that, including. Especially you, Alvin. Don't worry about it. We're friends, after all. Yeah, we are. Wow. Ooh, that's very heartwarming. Right. How much longer it's going to be before we catch up to Almadria? I'll ask Mahabar. Well, that's going to have. That's going to wait because I'm going to call it good for the stream. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for next time. Let's look at the stretch. Okay. See us.